Depending on the type of irrigation projects you take on, you might need several pipe classes or have the need to run a combination of potable and non-potable zones throughout the same design. Let us show you how to set your pipe data so land effects can help take charge of your pipe class management. If you have designed your system with a particular pipe class and for whatever reason need to change to a different pipe class, open your pipe data dialog box through the irrigation manager. Pick the proper pipe class from the pipe type list, make the needed adjustments to the size list, and when done, press OK. Size all your laterals one more time so the system can apply the needed values to each pipe segment. Regenerate your irrigation schedule to see your changes. If the design requires that you split pipe classes up based on size, land effects will automatically change classes if you set things up in the following fashion. In the pipe data dialog, set your pipe classes from smallest to largest. This will allow the system to auto adjust and convert the drawn laterals to the appropriate class, size, and even layer. Once you size your laterals again, you can view the data on a given piece of pipe to ensure things changed as desired. Remember to regenerate your schedule to see the changes there as well. You may want to include both potable and non-potable pipe and split this further into the different pipe classes per section. Skipping a pipe class will create a barrier that will allow you to put a combination of pipe types within one project. This will let the system know not to auto-switch between classes when it sizes the pipes. The system also has built-in barriers for plastic to metal and potable to non-potable that tells the system to leave these pipe types alone and not switch between these materials. Once you have your pipe set to your liking, you can quickly change the pipe that is already drawn by performing the following steps. Draw a small section of desired pipe next to a section you wish to change. Use the Match Properties tool and follow the command line prompts. After picking one section of the destination object, you can window across to all sections of pipe you would like converted, or across the entire plan if you would like all of that pipe class to change. The system will leave all of their pipe classes alone as it is only looking for the initial class you selected. Resize your laterals, delete the sample section of pipe, and regenerate your schedule. Remember that if you're looking to make more permanent changes to what pipe classes are used for each project, open your irrigation preferences and select the default pipe data option. These settings are saved with the selected preference set and will be used as you start each new project. Understanding these setup processes will allow you to become even more flexible as you design complex systems using land effects.